The backbone optical communication networks are an essential infrastructure supporting the network society. They are used for the internet, Hikari phone, and video demand services, and for business activities and public services and offices. In order to provide more stress-free communication and better services, NTT has been evolving its communication networks by further increasing the communication capacity of the backbone network and incorporating new technologies. We are introducing here a next-generation communications technology, a 100 gigabit per second digital coherent optical receiver which can be used to transmit 10 terabits per second of data over a single fiber. Now, what is digital coherent transmission? Before explaining this, let's outline the history of the technical developments that allow us to send a large capacity of information over an optical fiber. The first development was the use of time division multiplexing. This made it possible for a single fiber to carry data at 10 gigabits per second. The next development was to adopt wavelength division multiplexing. By using 40 wavelengths, each capable of 40 gigabit per second transmission, it became possible to send 1.6 terabits per second of data over a single fiber. Now comes digital coherent transmission, which is the most attention-grabbing technology today. This technology increases transmission capacity by using optical phase and polarization information. The receiver extracts information by mixing the received light with light from a local light source. Since a laser beam is normally polarized, it is possible to double the transmission capacity by using two orthogonally polarized waves as different channels. In addition, instead of using binary values of on and off, this technology makes use of four values of optical phase information, thereby further doubling the transmission capacity. Consequently, the volume of information that can be carried is quadrupled. We have implemented a system based on 28 to 32 gigabit per second transmission. We have doubled this transmission capacity by using phase information and further doubled it by using polarization information, thereby achieving 100 gigabits per second transmission over a single wavelength. By using about 100 wavelengths, it is possible to achieve 10 terabit per second transmission on a single optical fiber. An optical receiver receives the phase and polarization information of digital coherent optical signals. It consists of three elements, a passive optical circuit, which is a silica-based planar light wave circuit, or PLC, a high-speed photodiode, or PD array, which is an optical semiconductor, and a trans-impedance amplifier, which is a high-speed electronic device. This means that to implement a high-quality optical receiver, it is necessary to integrate silica-based PLC technology optical semiconductor technology, and high-speed electronic device technology. The teams concerned with the different technologies in NTT laboratories have worked closely together to achieve this integration successfully. の違うものが え、
例えば自動利得制御とマニュアル利得制御を切り替える機能シャットダウン機能などが求められますさらに伝送品質を良くするために低い雑音ですとか低い歪み特性が求められ広いダイナミックレンジが求められますこれを実現するのに大変苦労いたしましたと低い歪みとあの低い雑音というのは、まあ、相反的な関係がありまして回路設計をやるとです、ね、両方両立するのはなかなか難しい技術になりますでこれをあの回路構成の工夫によりましてあのそこを実現しております In addition to technologies to improve the performance of individual components, the technology to integrate these components is also important. The teams concerned got together and had intensive discussions in order to develop the final device. Thanks to these efforts, we have achieved an adequate Q value for 100 gigabit per second transmission. The 100 gigabit per second digital coherent integrated receiver is a technology that supports the optical transmission of tomorrow. Not that of the distant future.